Hi, it's Nell with Joyous Garden. I am up in the greenhouses in Santa Inez where we film the pictures for our houseplant book at Keep Your House Plants Alive. And today I want to talk to you about the fiddle leaf fig. Uh, Ficus lorata. It has large fig shaped leaves. Actually, this one the, and the leaves aren't as big because it's a little baby and I just wanted to show this one to you. So, as you can see, it has these large, beautiful fiddle leaf figs. These are a little bit bigger. They actually get quite large. There aren't any large ones in this greenhouse, so we're um, using this size here. My neighbors in Santa Barbara have one growing outdoors. It's about 18 feet tall. They do get into trees, that's for sure. So this is a highlight plant. This is not a light, a plant for low light corners. It, it likes light prefers it from all sides around or else you're going to have to rotate it every once in a while because it will grow toward the light. Um, in terms of water average, it's not one oh, that likes to be really dry so you want to water it about once every two weeks maybe, every week to two weeks depending on how warm your house is. As they age, sometimes they turn it into trees or, or you can actually buy them in a tree form too. And as they get older, they get kind of gnarly and spread, and they get a really twisted kind of a um, form to them. And they are a wonderful sort of a bohemian plant. Um, they are easier than the ficus benjaminus. Those are the most notoriously hard to maintain of all the, all the ficuses, but not quite as easy as the rubber trees. Those ones I found to be the toughest ones. You have to get everything pretty right on this one, otherwise it'll drop its leaves and if you're having any problems with it, it maybe it's not in high high enough light because it is a highlight plant I personally love these you'll want to wash these big leaves so I'll wipe them down every once in a while to keep them nice and clean it also gives a little bit more of a shine to them which is nice and other people love them too so that's why I wanted to show this one to you as usual, there's a blog post to go along with this video. The link is down below, along with the link to our houseplant care book, because you might be interested in that if you are houseplant care challenged. It's easy and simple to understand. Please visit us, visit us at joyousgarden.com and come back again next week because we'll have another video waiting for you right here. I thank you so much for watching. Bye!